Throughout this course, we will look at many different diseases and factors for illness and disease. Some of these factors for disease include genetic predisposition, the environment, medications, immunity, chemical exposure, and exposure to infectious disease pathogens such as bacteria, viruses, and protozoa. There are many different causes of disease, as we can see, and there may be more than one factor that ultimately leads to one or more illness or disease. Throughout the course, we will focus on modifiable risk factors. These are factors that are within our control for the prevention of both chronic and acute illnesses. These include factors such as nutrition, physical activity, tobacco, and alcohol use. Although focusing on prevention for chronic disease is important, it is also important to note that you can do everything right and still have an illness or disease. A person can have all of the recommended immunizations, be extremely clean, and not engage in any risky behavior, and still have a disease such as HIV and AIDS. They could have been born with a disease, they could have been exposed through a medical procedure such as a blood transfusion, it is important to know the risk factors and prevention methods for disease without developing preconceived ideas about who will have the disease or making judgments about the people that you will encounter who have acute or chronic illnesses. If there is a takeaway message that is important for this course, it is that there is a lot of information about health and disease available. We know today more than ever before about disease prevention and treatment. This does not mean that there is nothing left to learn. We are constantly developing new insights, discovering new diseases, and working towards better treatments. I hope that you will be some of the people that will work within our community, our nation, and our world to help further public health efforts regarding human disease.